Hello friends, welcome to VTech Academy and here in this section we are going to deal with graphs of a trigonometric function sin x. So, in order to discuss a graph, let us consider an equation first that is y equal to sin x. And then let us find the different values of y corresponding to the values of x in a table. So here there is a table and in the first row we are going to write the values of x and in the second row we are going to find the values of y for the equation y equal to sin x. And now let us consider different values of x which are radians. So first we begin with negative pi and then minus pi by 2 and the next value is 0 and here pi by 2 and here pi then 3 pi by 2 and then 2 pi, 5 pi by 2 and 3 pi. And now let us find the values of y corresponding to the different values of x by just substituting the values of x in the equation y equal to sin x. So by substituting minus pi in the equation we get here sin minus pi. And we already know that a sine of minus pi will be equal to minus sine pi and the value of sine pi is 0. So we get here minus 0. So the value of y for x equal to minus pi is 0. So let us write 0 over here and the next radian minus pi by 2. So the value for y will be equal to sine minus pi by 2 which is nothing but minus sine pi by 2. And the value for sine pi by 2 is 1. So we get here minus 1 as the value of y. And then we have 0 here. So sine 0 will be equal to 0. So we get 0 as the value of y and then pi by 2. So by substituting pi by 2 in the equation, we get sine pi by 2 and the value of sine pi by 2 is 1. So here we get 1 as the value of y. And then the next radian which is pi. So the value of sine pi is 0. So we get 0 as the value of y and the next radian 3 pi by 2. So sine 3 pi by 2 is nothing but minus 1. So here we get minus 1 and the next radian 2 pi which is 360 degrees. So sine 360 degrees is 0. So we get here 0 as the value of y and the next radian 5 pi by 2. So sine 5 pi by 2 can be written as sine 4 pi plus pi by 2. And now we can split this and write as sine 4 pi by 2 plus pi by 2. And here by simplifying we get sine 2 pi plus pi by 2 and this is in the form of sine 360 degrees plus theta which is equal to sine theta. So here we get sine pi by 2 and the value of sine pi by 2 is 1. So here we get 1 as the value of y at 5 pi by 2 and the next radian 3 pi. So sine 3 pi is equal to sine 2 pi plus pi and this is in the form of sine 360 degrees plus theta which is equal to sine theta. So here we get sine pi and the value of sine pi is 0. So here we get 0 as the value of y. And now let us proceed and plot the different values of y corresponding to the different values of x on a graph. So here the horizontal line is called as x axis and the vertical line is y axis. And this is the origin where x axis and y axis intersect. And now let us plot the scale of x axis that is values of x on x axis. And now let us write 1 on the y axis and minus 1 on the negative y axis. And then let us plot the different values of y corresponding to the values of x. So for x equal to minus pi the value of y is 0. So here we get the point on x axis as y equal to 0. And then so for x equal to minus pi by 2 the value of y is minus 1. So here we get a point and the next order pair is 0 comma 0 that is origin. So here we get a point. And then for x equal to pi by 2, the value of y is 1. So here we get a point where pi by 2 and 1 intersects. And then the next radian is pi and its value of y is 0. And then the next radian which is 3 pi by 2 and its value is minus 1. So here we get a point where 3 pi by 2 and minus 1 intersects. And the next radian 2 pi and its value is 0. So here we get a point on x axis as y is equal to 0. And then the next radian 5 pi by 2 and its value is 1. So here we get a point where 5 pi by 2 and 1 intersects. And at last which is 3 pi. So at 3 pi the value of y is 0. So here we get a point on x axis as y is equal to 0. And then by joining all these points we get a graph and this curve is called as y equal to sin x. And make a note of the following points that is this curve 
of sin x is a continuous curve and the minimum value for the curve sin x is minus 1 and the maximum value is 1. And the sin x curve passes through the origin and curve will repeat with an interval of 2 pi. So this was a basic introduction on graph of trigonometric function sin x. Hope you understood the concept. Refer to more videos on trigonometry on our channel vdjacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.